Good day, my name is Martin Schweiger and I will today walk you through a short recap lesson of our backward forward search prior art search course. This is lesson one of a whole course and it will give you a short recap just for those of you who have already used our backward forward search widget but you have stayed away for such a long time that you need a very short introduction. This is a lesson for patent nerds only. This lesson will not help you at all if you have never done a prior art search before. But let's look how we log in into our backward forward search widget. We proceed to our webpage www.iplawyertools.com. This is where we are. We log in if you are not yet logged in and we start our backward forward search widget here in the menu line. It will open and this gives you a short manual of what backward forward search is all about with some frequently asked questions here. We launch our backward forward search widget here and as you can see a window opens and you see altogether seven areas. The upper four areas have buttons to engage with our backward forward search widget. There's a help button here, which gives you information about all the buttons that are available. We close that one and we start our search quickly inside. We press the add patents button here and we enter my favorite patent publication number W O two zero zero eight zero one two three four and five this is a patent of the famous pirelli car tire company as you can see pressing enter moves this patent publication number to the column in the middle one of the three output areas we now have the choice either to press the initiate search cited and citing patents or one which or we go for the advanced search which includes the backward forward search for the patent family members of the W02080123455. We choose the more comprehensive one, which is the advanced search. We press and you see the progress bar here. And you see that you get altogether 13 references that are located around this initial patent publication. We mark them and move them over to the middle column here. The citing patents the same. So you have now altogether 14 patents, our initial patent publication plus the 13 hits that were found by the backward forward search. We have now three options to export this data for further verification. We choose the most simple one, which is to open the patent publication in the Espasnet bibliographic database. We mark all the patents we want to look at and we press the EPO button. You can see that there are 14 tabs open in our internet browser. And for all those of you who have done a prior art search before, you know well what to do. You can click, for instance, the original document and examine the patent in more detail to find out whether it is relevant or not. And that's it already. Please take the other lessons of the same backward forward search widget course in order to find out more about our backward forward search widget. How does this look like in practice? And is there further information available? Yes, it is. Please check out the courses section on my webpage at www.iplawyertools.com. The membership there and all course fees come with a one month 100% no question ask money back guarantee. My name is Martin Schweiger and I have just walked you through lesson one of our backward forward search course, a short recap lesson for all those who come back. Goodbye.